Hello everyone and welcome to yet another one-of-a-kind racetrack. After a long three-year hiatus, the Race on Earth series is finally back as the drivers have finally been coerced into participating once again. Today we are going to have 35 drivers taking us through a sports theme course because that's what the world really needs right now is a little bit more sports. So the drivers are going to start by going through the golf course. Um, we got a series of golf clubs, tees, and balls there that they're going to have to navigate, including some moving golf balls. Next, they will enter Croquet Corner, where they're going to have to travel through the wickets, through a transport point, and then around the Croquet Mallets. Next, they will enter the tennis turns, which are a series of traditional 180 turns, followed by the fan zone, where they will actually have to drive through pom-poms, which could get messy. Next, they will slalom through the soccer balls in the sports ball section, go around a couple football turns, and then enter through the final uh, ball section there, and that will lead them into the speed pads, where some speed pads will slow them up, some will slow them down, and we're likely to have shakeups in our field there. Next, the cars are going to travel up and over the pool table, and this pool table is filled with magic triangles that will allow the cars to transport up and down. Um, as well as the nerf section, which will have some dangerous guns at the end. They're going to probably shoot out at our drivers as they go by. Once the cars go through workout way, they'll enter the darts 180, where those darts will stab out and take competitors out of the race really quickly. And then we'll enter the checkers of doom. In the checkers of doom, these flashing checkers are going to change the speed of cars and potentially take them out of the race if they hit the wrong color. Lastly, they're going to sprint to the finish, they're going to have a little loop in the middle, a couple speed pads, and then they will reach the finish line and we will declare a winner of the most competitive race on earth. We're off now. Austin Dillon leading the top line, Bowman, LaJoy, Harvick, Blaney all leading lines as well. As we get this race underway, Ryan Blaney, Corey LaJoy, and Alex Bowman are leaders. Kurt Busch gets taken out. Austin Dillon and Ross Chastain right at the very beginning. Three competitors are out. Austin Dillon gets hit again, and that'll sting. We only have 32 cars left now. That number is going to continue to decrease as we get through this course. We just get through the first section. Kyle Busch gets held up with Stenhouse and Ty Dillon. And Ryan Blaney is our leader as we enter Croquet Corner. Matt Benedetto now up to second with Corey LaJoy still in third. Ryan Priest gets spun out at the back, but he'll keep going. Ryan Blaney, Benedetto, and LaJoy are our leaders. And Eric Jones takes the outside line of this transport. That saves him a little time. And he'll now be up there at the front as well. It's Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney, our leaders. And Tyler Reddick, the rookie, also up there. I just saw him as well. We now get an onboard with Jones as he heads around the first of the tennis turns. The cars are now flying by around the second 180 in the tennis turns. Eric Jones continues to lead. Tyler Reddick with a great run is up to second. And Alex Bowman is currently in third. A crash at the back takes out Ty Dillon and Garrett Smithley. Eric Jones continues to lead Reddick and Bowman, everyone three wide in the middle of the pack. Bumping with the leaders, Jones spins, collects Blaney and Chris Busher. And our two leaders, Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney, who've been up there all day, get taken out. And now we are uh, down to less cars. Alex Bowman continues to lead now. Hendrick teammate Chase Elliott looks like he's up to second as they get through those pom-poms carefully. Alex Bowman and Chase Elliott slaloming in the lead, the Hendrick teammates, followed by Tyler Reddick and Cordy LaJoy, who's got a great race, still in fourth. Jimmy Johnson up in fifth, Clint Boyer in sixth. So they're going to go around the last soccer ball here. And there's another shortcut that opens up. John Hunter Nemechek, Kozlowski, Timmy Hill, and others get through there. Chase Elliott is our leader with John Hunter Nemechek, the rookie now up to second. A great job by him to take advantage of that shortcut. As we get to the end of the ball section here, better watch out for the world. And oh, there it comes. Cole Custer and Joey Logano are taken out by the world. That probably rocked their world right there. As Chase Elliott now hits the speed pads, remember the green speed pads are good. The red will slow you down. Tyler Reddick now our leader. Look at Timmy Hill out of nowhere. Timmy Hill is the leader of this race now. The iRacing here and it taking over the real racing stage. As Timmy Hill is our leader, Chase Elliott passes him back with those speed pads. But Hill's right in the mix still. Jimmy Johnson coming back through the field after falling back, and here comes Denny Hamlin. We haven't talked much of him today, but thanks to these speed pads and navigating him well, he's up to second, along with Reddick, LaJoy, and Elliott rounding out your top five as we exit the speed pads. Now we approach the pool table, and those magic triangles are going to beam people up, so they got to make sure that they're careful when they are going up. It's Jimmy Johnson and Denny Hamlin leading the field as they get up onto the pool table. Everyone going up. Johnson goes back out the other end, and someone got pushed into the wrong pocket. Um, we'll call that a scratch. They're going to be out of the race now. 
Jimmy Johnson continues to lead Denny Hamlin and Corey LaJoy, who's been very solid in the top 10 all day, so a good run for him. Johnson, in what could be one of his final races, continues to lead here as we pass the last set of protective goggles. Christopher Bell has a solid run in the top 10 right now. Better watch out. You never know when these darts are going to shoot out, though. Alex Bowman gets taken out, and so does Tyler Reddick. Two young, promising drivers who had very good races early today get taken out by the Nerf guns. And Jimmy Johnson continues to lead as we enter the fitness zone. Oh, Hamlin clips Johnson. Johnson back into Hamlin. They spin. Our leaders get taken out and a shortcut opens up, allowing William Byron to go through. This completely changes the complexion of the pack as William Byron is now our leader, followed by Clint Boyer. Timmy Hill still doing a great job in third with Chase Elliott right beside him. This is a lot to keep up with, but the field is starting to dwindle now as we enter the darts 180. Byron and Boyer continue to lead. You never know when those darts are going to stab out. There goes Christopher Bell. Brennan Poole gets taken out as well, and Kyle Larson as well. These darts are ruthless, and they aren't sparing anybody. We'll see who survives the second half of it here. As William Byron is our leader, and not anymore. He gets taken out as well. We have Ryan Newman taken out, and Kyle Busch as well. We're down to 16 cars with a couple sections to go. Now we approach the Checkers of Doom. Clint Boyer hits the red token, speeds up. He's our leader right now. Oh, and Boyer blows up, so there he goes. Harvick, Almirola, and Chase Elliott, who gets spun. We have Harvick, Almirola, and LaJoy now in the lead, and Ryan Priest blows up as well. Elliott does keep going as we enter the final sprint one mile to go harvick and lajoy are leaders eric almirola gets slowed down in the middle and we're going to enter this loop here you better watch out de benedetto gets clipped by stenhouse and spins he collects a couple other cards and now it's johnson and hamlin in the front yet again with lajoy and elliot right behind him hamlin gets taken out as he tries to go around the speed beds three cars to the finish elliot johnson lajoy here comes truex making it four wide they're bumping side to side of the finish line and i don't know who wins what a finish Let's take another look at it really quick. It looked like Johnson and LaJoy were the two front runners. So everyone was bumping back and forth, and it looks like Corey LaJoy will take it by a nose. What a finish. Corey LaJoy, an incredible victory for him. Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, great runs in the top all day long. Timmy Hill with a valiant effort to finish sixth, and Denny Hamlin, who led much of the day, finishes ninth. John Hunter Nemechek, the rookie with a great run in 14th, and a bunch of guys taken out by the darts now in the middle of the pack, six of them. Tyler Reddick and Alex Bowman, both with strong days, taken out by those nerf darts. And then Eric Jones and Ryan Blaney, who looked to be the dominant cars of the day, took each other out early on. The Dillon brothers don't finish too well, as they both get taken out early. And Kurt Busch couldn't even make it past that first golf ball, so that's the end of the day for him. But that'll do it for us here at the most competitive race on earth. It certainly has been a wild ride with only eight finishing cars. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.